Welcome back to the channel. There is a new Nvidia driver and I'm testing it here in the Vario Aero and this is the Black Square King Air flying over Snowdonia National Park. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because I've recently recommended with a Sobo in fact as well that the 531.29 driver is the best for Microsoft Flight Simulator especially for VR as well since there's been a number of instability issues frame drops and even crashes with DirectX 12. Well I'm pleased to say that this has been fixed apparently anyway um, with this new driver and the only way I could really test this out is by flying for at least a couple of hours and I've tested this with the Variet Aero which you can see now also the HP Reverb G2 and the Pimax Crystal and so far so good as you can see and you know what the Vario Aero continues to absolutely impress me especially the motion prediction together with the light form factor well I say it's not as small as the big screen beyond which will be on the channel soon by the way but it is super comfortable especially with the active cooling technology on a hot clammy day which it has been in the UK today it is an absolute joy but anyway there's a few things I want to mention also about the settings particularly in the sim itself I would not recommend DirectX 12 um, in fact, I've noticed at least 8 to 10 frames per second less when using TAA mode because that is my preferred way of enjoying VR is not using DLSS. However, if you do prefer to use that, then DirectX 12 with DLSS enabled does work really well. But overall, I personally feel that DirectX 12 is still a work in progress and there are a few bugs here and there that's nothing to do with the Nvidia driver that could hamper performance and stability. So for now I would stick with DirectX 11, GPU scheduling turned on and these are my Nvidia settings on the screen now. As you can see I just use prefer maximum performance and texture filtering also set to performance and with the Variet Aero at 39 pixels per degree which actually means it's set to 35 pixels per degree with OpenXR it really is very very nice indeed. Anyway folks that is all I'm going to say for this video. I think it's pretty much safe to say that this new version certainly seems okay. However I think the age old saying still applies that if it ain't broke don't fix it. In other words if your sim is running really well then don't mess around with settings, don't change anything, just enjoy it. Have a great weekend, thank you so much for all your support as always. I'll see you again very soon.